3 things that lost are has that you can steal and apply to your game right away. If you are making a game and you want to make sure it feels better and it looks like a great game, then you need to steal these principles. Number one thing you can steal from Lost Ark is the pattern creation. If you see Lost Ark has a camera top down, the camera most of the time it just sees the floor. So how do they make it pretty? The key to make the floor look pretty and any other kind of asset is to use different assets. Assets have patterns and the patterns can be very simple or very complex. They can have different shapes like square, triangle, circle and any other kind of shape you want. The combination of these shapes is what makes your pattern. So if you only have one pattern, it will be very hard for you to make your game look pretty. If you see the floor in Lost Ark, especially in the cities, you will see that you have different patterns. Like one cobblestone here, then you have the bricks, then you have another type of brick here, and then another type of brick, basically like four different types of bricks, it's crazy. And also tiling patterns, different tilings, different patterns. So by using different patterns, you can make the player feel like it's actually into a more complex world. So let's take a look at these patterns. So let's talk about patterns. The most common pattern that you will find outside is a brick. A brick has a very simple shape. It's just basically a square that is repeated over and over until you feel the, the wall. So bricks can have very different shapes. It can be long, it can be short, but basically this is one kind of pattern. Now, this pattern is recognized by squares. So when you add a little bit of more complexity to the pattern, now you have a different kind of stone. For example, this one. This one has different shapes. Some of them have five sides, some of them has four sides. And the combination of those is also different. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, and some of them are medium size. And just like that, you can create different shapes and patterns, just like this one. So the combination of these patterns is what will make your scene look better. Now, this pattern is hard to recognize compared to this one. This one is really simple, it's just a brick wall, but this one is really hard to predict what will the next pattern will, because it's very chaotic. But at the same time, you can recognize it. Let's take a look at this pattern. This pattern is a combination of different bricks, typically a layer brick that has one small brick behind and then a bigger brick on, on top and then the plaster on top. So you can see that this pattern is very chaotic and the more chaotic it is, the more closer to nature it is because nature is chaos by, nat by definition. So if you like, the more chaotic your pattern is, the more, let's just say nature it will have. So for this one, you will see that I have different shapes. I have like big bricks, small bricks, plaster, it has everything. So different patterns will give you different results. Now let's take a look at this pattern. This pattern is used a grass texture. Now you will argue with me that this doesn't have a pattern, but it really does. It's just a combination of different noises and it's just hard to detect what's the pattern. Here you can predict that this one will have another brick here. But here you won't be able to predict what's the next grass. And the same happens with rocks. Rocks, grass, and nature are usually patterns that are hard to predict. So how can you make sure your game is more interesting? So in Unreal, you will see that I have this floor. 
made from the context samples. So if I play here, you will see that my character can walk and everything. Now, most people make this mistake and make the floor really boring. Compared to Lost Ark, you see that the floor has so many varieties. And because the camera is top down like this and it's not facing that way, we need to make the floor is much more interesting. So how do we do that? Well, applying the principle that I just show you, let me duplicate this and put it here and then put this one here. And let's create a different pattern. Let's go to our content browser and I will drag this material and I will put it here. Now let's try to play again. And you will see that just by doing that, my game feels much more interesting. I also have the pattern in the middle, but I have a different pattern here with different colors, different size of the squares, and I can continue to add different patterns to different areas of my level to make it much more interesting. So second tip you can steal from Lost Ark is transitions. Transitions in games can make it or break it. So make sure you always have transitions in your environments. For example, if you have a man-made element, such as this one, you have some stairs, you want to put some bricks here to blend with the ground because the ground is nature. The ground has grass, has mud, has sort of different things. And if you just put the grass there and then you just put the stairs, then it wouldn't look that good. It has that CG feeling. It feels like a game. But when you add the transitions, then your environment feels much better. The transition is not only for the ground. The transition is to tell the player that somehow everything is connected, such as the wooden planks in the floor that connects to the wood walls that are there and the wooden watchtower. Then you will have some wooden planks in the floor to ease the transition of the environment. So what I have here is just two barrels in the middle of nowhere. So when I play my game from here, you will see that it, this feels a little bit off, right? Like, why are these barrels here? It, this feels uh, a lot disconnected from the environment. So to make this transition a little bit better, I only need to add some, some wood planks. For example, here, I can add some wood planks here and I can continue to duplicate those and rotate them and play with the sizes and everything and just a little bit just like that and then I can try to put it here then duplicate again rotate them this should be good enough so let me put this up just like this and then this one up and now when we play the game you will see that the transition is much better. You have wood here and you can also have wood in the, in the ground. So by making this method, you will see that your games will feel much more grounded, will feel much more realistic. So wherever you have materials, same as this rock, for example, you can ease the transition by putting some small rocks here and everything in your environment, at least the part that has gameplay will have a transition. Tip number three you can get from Lost Ark is anticipation. So anticipation, you may hear from it from animation, is when you tell the audience that something's going to happen so that they can be prepared for it. In the case of games, when you have enemies, it's extremely important that they anticipate their attack so that the player can react to it. If there is no anticipation, the player will, you know, get frustrated because you didn't tell him that he was going to get attacked. Anticipation can come in many different things. It's not only from enemies, but also like from platforms that are falling. They need to vibrate so that, you know, they will fall. Or when the enemy has a short attack, they will like do like this and they will tell you, I'm going to hit you. So you have time to react when they are throwing some magic like in Lost Ark you can see the range of the attack so you can anticipate the attack anticipation is huge in games when you don't give the sign uh, the player will get frustrated 
So here is an example of anticipation. Let's say my character is running here and then suddenly this goes down and kill me, or almost kill me. If you want to make a game that is rage quit, that's fine. So to fix this is very simple. We can add sounds or a lot of things. But for me, I'm just going to plug in the camera shake and let's play a game to see how it feels like. So I'm here and then I run. And when I'm close, uh, I will have a warning. And there you go. So just by having these small signs, you can really enhance the experience of the player to tell him what is going to happen. So those are the three tips. You can steal from Lost Ark and you can apply it to your game. Remember that we have a lot of videos in our channel, a lot of complete tutorials. And of course, make sure to check our website if you want to learn more or grab some assets. We have some really cool things there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.